guys, so welcome back to my channel. For those who don't know me, my name is Brandy. I'm a full-time reseller on the Poshmark app. So I have another haul for you guys today. For you guys today? I hope I said that right. I'm like, wait, am I getting tongue-tied again? So yeah, I have another haul for you guys today. Um, I was driving through my local strip mall and we they opened up a new consignment shop. So I stopped around and I took a peek and I realized they were having a huge, huge sale. They had tons and tons of tubs outside and I went over and I asked them and I said hey what's up what are you doing and they said they're having a fill bag event so they give you the bag you don't get to bring the bag like how Play-Dohs let you so they let me um so I bought I paid $15 I got a bag I do wish I would have got more stuff I realized after that I definitely probably they definitely probably didn't care if I if I ha overfilled my bag. So I wish I would have got more. But it's okay. There's always going to be a next time. But yeah, guys, I would definitely suggest that you check around your neighborhood. Look at local consignment shops. Follow them on Facebook because that's what I do. They always, always post when they're going to have a big sale or a fill-a-bag event. I think that's a great way for you to get very cheap inventory. For a low cost price so i definitely suggest finding consignment stores or thrift stores around your local area and see when they're having sales or events my thrift store also likes to give um a little punch card and every 10 every 15 dollars you spend you get 15 dollars off even though sometimes it might not seem like much anything is a blessing and anything is good so i definitely 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 suggest you definitely look around and talk to your local thrift store look up on Facebook Marketplace to see ideas of how you can get cheaper inventory because I'm always looking for cheaper inventory. The cheaper, the better. So let's get into this video, guys. Let me show you what I got at the fill a bag event. And yeah, so the first thing I got is this kimchi blue. It's a size extra small, Urban Outfitters. Just this medium, is it a medium? No, extra small cheetah print, little cute skater dress. So it was cheap. I decided to get it. It was nice. I like Urban Outfitters, even though, like, I know they don't sell for, like, high, high ticket prices. I just like their pieces, and that's, like, how I like my closet to look. So if I can get them cheap enough, I always pick it up. So the next thing I got is this Free People, size medium. It's, like, this teal blue floral peasant top. It has a keyhole detail. Very pretty. It has, like, a bleach distress look with, like, the bleach stains. But yeah, it's a really pretty top. It has really pretty sleeves. I love that. It's a perfect transition piece for fall also. The next thing I got, I definitely got a bunch of jeans, guys. I was really excited. I used to be one of those people who, like, steered clear, stayed clear of jeans. I just, I didn't like them. I didn't, like, taking photos of them. I just was like, I, I don't, I just didn't want to get them. But then I was like, you know what? Jeans bring in a good profit. That's stupid of me not to pick up jeans. So I started picking up jeans a while back, and now I love picking up jeans. I don't mind taking pictures. They're actually easier to take pictures of than other stuff I take pictures of, because as you guys know, I model my, my stuff. So yeah, jeans are probably a lot easier than a dress or something like that. But these are just the Seven for All Mankind Roxanne Slim. They're definitely a, a big, a long, a, a long, a big, I don't even know what I'm saying, a tall inseam. I actually thought these were black when I got them, but I actually realized these are just so dark blue that they look black. So they're like a bluish black. But yeah, and they're just a skinny jean with a very, very tall inseam. So someone who's tall and thin, those jeans are perfect for. The next thing I got are these cabby size six. Now I never find cabby. I only pick up newer label cabby and I never find it. So I rarely ever get it. But I got this one. These were really cute. They're like this olive light green color. They're a skinny cargo jean. So yeah, they were really pretty and cute. So I figured I'd pick them up. The next thing I got is another Urban Outfitters by Silence Plus Noise. It is a size medium. It's really cute. It's just this black zip up romper. It has that stretchy like cottony material. These will look cute with a pair of stockings and like combat boots and a flannel over it. So even though this looks like it would be a summer piece, it definitely could be a fall piece if you dress it up any way you want it. But if you put a pair, like I said, some stockings and combat boots and a flannel, a flannel over it or wrapped around it, this could definitely be a really cute fall piece. And it has the cutout back detail. Very pretty, I love this. 
So the next thing I got is another pair of jeans. They've really had good jeans there. They had bins and bins of jeans. I wish I would have got more jeans, but you know, it is what it is. Next time I definitely will be more aware and more prepared for, you know, this fill a bag event. So I got a pair of mother. I never find mother. I was super excited to find these. I'm pretty sure they're like a gray color. They kind of look green, but I'm pretty sure they're gray. They're size 26. They are the cropped zip muse. They have zipper ankles. They're mid rise. Yeah, and they're real stretchy too. So they're really cute jean. I love them. So the next thing I got is another Urban Outfitters. It is kimchi blue. It is a size small. Perfect for Christmas, this dress. I definitely think so. It has the lace sleeves. It just reminds me of like Christmas dinner or something. I don't know. It's a really cute swing skater dress. And it's a deep V, like plunge neckline. Very, very, very pretty. The next thing I got is this Lafayette 148, size 4. Now, I never, I obviously found this brand before, but I never pick it up. I don't know if I've never found like a cute enough piece or what it is. Or maybe it's because sometimes I hear mixed emotions about it. Like one person will say, uh, I don't like it, it doesn't sell well. And then another person will say, mm, I love it, like it sells great. So it's kind of hard. So I was just like, you know what, I need to take the leap. I need to test it for myself. I need to see how it sells. So I picked it up. It is just this red v-neck chic dress. It has a slit in the back. Super pretty. Sleeveless dress, I love that. So these I've never ever heard before, but they look like they're expensive. They had, I mean, I know they're expensive, but they look like a really good brand. They have a $248 price tag still on it. They are Baldwin. The tag looks really, really fancy and good. Um, but I also picked them up because they were newer tags and they were super cheap, so they're, it's worth taking the risk. And they have the cute fringe cropped flare bottoms. I love that in a jean. They are mid-rise. These are a size 27, I believe. Yep, a 27. They are the Baldwin Maxwell fringe flare cropped ankle jeans, I think they're called. They're a light wash. I love them. They're super pretty, pretty jeans. I would have kept them, but they were a little bit too big around the waist. I say that so much, but it's so hard sometimes not to keep things. I honestly don't keep a lot of my things. It may seem like that or me say it a lot. It may seem like that, but I don't. I usually sell everything, but sometimes I am like, man, I do want to keep that. But then I decide, you know what? I'm going to sell it. I want the money more instead. I'd rather have the money instead. And that's all a part of, you know, good business. So yeah, I really don't keep many of my items. Even if I say like I want to, most of the time I don't keep them. So the last thing I got, guys, is this Lulu's. This reminds me of Christmas. Once again, it's a perfect burgundy color. It's off the shoulder. It has the slit in the front. Beautiful sweetheart neckline. This is a size small as well. The zipper in the back. Very pretty dress. So guys, that is my haul. I hope you loved it. I am going to be coming out with new videos. I know I do a lot of hauls on my channel, but I will be trying to branch out and doing other types of videos on Poshmark. I definitely have a, a lot of ideas of what I want to do and where I want my channel to go. Please like, comment, subscribe. I want to hear your suggestions of what you would want me to do because I'm always, 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 always looking for ideas. Um, yeah, but usually I go out and I get stuff and I always want to show you guys right away because I figured I love hauls. I'm sure other people love hauls. I love seeing what other people are selling on Poshmark. So I'm sure other people do too. So that's why I always try to pop out these hauls so you can see what I'm getting. But yeah, guys, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Have a good day. Bye.